Sean, right here with the guru, George Ferrer. Moments after the 50th anniversary of the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia, you had Kai Green. Was this Kai Green's third first runner-up or his second? Third. So he's joining some familiar foe like uh, Flex Wheeler. Kevin Lavroni was a four-time first runner-up. And, of course, we do know that the four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler, was the first runner-up six times. Kai is now three tied with Rich Gaspari. So it's got to be bittersweet because uh, Kai did come out of the box boxing. Well, you know, it's not about coming out of the box. And everybody keeps telling them, you know, Kai, we want you aggressive. We want you aggressive. Now, finally, you know, he gets aggressive. And we all know it's all fake. Yeah. I mean, you see him like, hugging him. And, Phil, there's no problem there. I mean, we're all like family, me, Hani, Phil, all of us. The only problem is the people out there watching it, it doesn't look good. But to me, actually, it's good. It's 2014. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian, how her whole career started. I mean, she's the most talkable woman, you know, in the so world. Do you think any so, of the antics hurt what I the judges uh, judge them as? Maybe the judges, because they really didn't know about it. They might have, like, you know, they got pissed why is he doing this. Of course, he got marked down. This is, I think this is, we saw probably one of the best, you know, Kai Green and... Uh, I'm a little disappointed, man. I'm really sad because I live for my guys. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Well, look, guys, the Hall of Fame bodybuilders have survived worse. I mean, Rich Gaspari uh, was three-time first runner-up. Flex Wheeler, a three-time first runner-up. It's not the worst place to be. But now you got to wait a whole year to get redemption. And the biggest question is, will he come back next year to try to take it away again? Of course he's got to come back. You know, he's hungry. That's the only thing we have. You know, me and him, our agenda is to really win that title. That's why he don't really want to do any other show, you know. Will we see him at all this year? Is this it? I think that's going to be it. So uh, that's, that's that's from me. He might change his mind. Well, what's his demeanor backstage? Because it's bittersweet. You're you're on cloud nine because you're first runner up, and at the same time you're the first loser. So how does he feel? Well, you know how. I mean, Kai is so like gracious and as humble as they come. He's not going to be mad. I mean, he's sad because he really wanted. He's been. Since he hit the gym, you know, since in his early teen, you know, he wants to be Mr. Olympia and he dream about it and reading the magazine and stuff. And it's really like he's, he's working so hard, man. And we all saw it. I mean, you even came up to me and told me, wow, he's impressive. But I mean, you know, I can't say anything because this is all in the judge's hand. And if that's how they saw it, you got to respect it. Well, Kai Green does not have anything to hold his head down. Another three-time first Olympia runner-up at the hands of George Farah trying to find victory maybe in 2015. For George, I'm Sean Ray, MusculareDevelopment.com.